we move into our next matchup here at 90 kilograms. And these two wild men known for passionate performances, Dean Chrissy Gabriel from the red corner in the black shorts out of Bad Boys Gym. His opponent in the blue corner, Junior Bueno, in the yellow shorts by way of Brazil. And the Englishman giving up a ton of height in this matchup, Dean, but as I said, these two known for spirited performances. Junior known as a taller, exciting fighter who will not give in the talk of the locker room today. Chrissy Gabriel, likewise, has been doing K-1 for a couple of years and fights regularly on contenders. Nice jab there by Junior. And Junior doing a good job of circling to the right. But I wonder if Gabriel's going to look to load up on that left hook, or right cross. And that was the right hand going overhand, actually. And once again, looking for that big, big shot is Chrissy Gabriel. And Chrissy eats a right round kick. And the mobility so far of Junior showing some good awareness, but and a great knee. That was the best shot of the fight so far. Gabriel now in full retreat, Dean. Junior did an awesome job of keeping pressure on his opponent, mixing up the strikes. He's aware of that one knee rule. He's got a problem. Oh, he's got, had a problem with his with his shin guard there, tried to call the ref, and Chrissy saw an opportunity to come and land some heavy shots. Nice teak there by Junior. And Chrissy showing good intuition of knowing when to attack there, Dean. But a big knee again lands, cranks home for Junior. And the Brazilian doing a good job of using that teak to escape here from the corner right in front of the position. But Gabriel getting in, doubling up to the body and going back upstairs. Junior's guard was brilliant there in the corner. Chrissy was really hammering home. And I don't think any of those got through, Chris. And we're going to get a short call for time here from Daniel Mobahidi, our head ref here tonight in Norwich. An adjustment of those shin guards and we're back underway, Dean. Junior opted for the, the touch there. Chrissy said, no, no. Oh! And we're going to get a possible the time to recover here. I don't think he's going to get a count. I think that was an illegal shot, Dean. I can't tell from a position. I have to get a look at the replay on that one. I saw a knee guard from Junior. Now, if that contacted with the head, wait for the decision from the referee. And our ref is going to take a careful look here and possibly administer a very firm warning or possibly even a point deduction, depending. Yeah, he's going to give a warning this time. I think he thinks it was inadvertent. He knows that he was obviously looking for that single shot. I mean, we, in all fairness, Junior did show good clinch awareness with several strikes so far. So he certainly passed the test in this round. And a great show of refereeing here from Daniel Mobahidi in charge. Good touch of gloves, and we're back at it. Great to see these guys going at it. And Dean, no big consequences from that illegal strike. Let's see if it, just about to say there, see if it takes its toll on Chrissy as he needs some heavy shots. Another knee there on wobbly legs is Chrissy Gabriel. Junior's did a brilliant job of putting those power shots in, moving off, keeping aware of where his opponent in Chrissy Gabriel's hands are. Chrissy comes in with his head down, but Junior quite rightly steers the head of his opponent, lands hard and heavy shots, and circles off out. Yeah, formidable force in Junior Bueno so far. And an enthusiastic performance from both fighters, but let's be honest, Junior said you know, what he was going to do. He came here tonight and is certainly showing off just why he is one of the big guys in here at 90 kilograms tonight, making it happen, testing himself against a dangerous guy like Gabriel. But I think Gabriel's got his work cut out for him, Dean, to get back on track here in round two. It's contenders East Anglia. So around two of three, two more minutes here at 90 kilograms. Chris Hookstra here calling it with Dean Midhat. Dean, great to be here in Norwich. It's a pleasure so far, this amazing show. Right in front of us, Junior Bueno Bueno's doing some awesome ring craft, dancing around the ring, pouting off the jabs. He eats an overhand right from his opponent, Chrissy Gabriel. And that is the strike that Gabriel was looking for from the moment the bell sounded in round one and definitely Landing his best one so far here in round two. Junior is teeing off on his opponent in front of us here. In perpetual motion, the Brazilian, but gets caught against the corner from Gabriel. That was wise, wise game planning from Gabriel, but I feel like Junior's just able to outland him and actually, quite frankly, bust him up a little bit. You can see a lot of red marks on Chris Gabriel's face. Big flurries and barrages and punches from Chrissy Gabriel. Puts his head down. 
to try and protect himself, but he's, he's not looking at the, the guy he's fighting in front of him. He's learned some good body shots there. Junior's covering up. Man, I'm telling you, Gabriel, his game, though, as I said, these two known for very intense performances. Looking to smash it out of the park here, right in front of us. Way! Big shots from both men. Brutal power with just vicious intent. Big knee came up there from Junior. Stopped Chrissy in his tracks. Deep breaths from Junior. And it's arguable, though, that the discipline of Junior has been one of his best assets here in this fight. But Gabriel closing in, trying to really show his intent. He's in it to win it, Dean. You know, he took some big shots from Junior in round one, but he's come back big time this round. Maybe even stealing it here, moving over the halfway point towards the end of round two. It's nice to see Chrissy using some head, head movement these later rounds. That's what he was missing the first round. He's putting his head down and just barraging the body there. He needs to move his head. The taller fighter, if you remember, fighters like Mike Tyson, they'd go up and under. We Bob and we've come up with heavy in the shots. So we know Chrissy's got. And Chrissy doing a good job of lighting up Junior a little bit towards the round, you know, end there. And I feel like, like I said, halfway through that round, he sort of passed and turned the curve. This guy's painting some good patterns with that better movement, as you said, Dean, and really punishing Junior. We've got a fight in Norwich, ladies and gentlemen. So, final round. And both fighters really testing each other so far, Dean, but Gabriel on a comeback and the noise of the crowd backing him in spectacular fashion. Enormous matchup in front of us. Both guys busted up. Both guys battered. It's interesting to see the corner of Chrissy Gabriel. I tell him to look for that uppercut, which I think is integral. If he can lift Junior's head up, come over with a big shot, whether it left hook, over and right, he's going to do some damage there. And Chrissy Gabriel showing some championship resolve here and coming back to really take the Junior. I mean, if you would have watched the first round and then said, everyone, look, let's, let's, let's take bets, you might have figured that the physique and the range and the movement of Junior would be just a bit too much, but really able to find the lever that is his power is Chris Gabriel here in round three. I'd like to see Chrissy Gabriel uncork the power that comes off a slip. Talk up your body, alleviate shots from yourself as opposed to just coming and barrage. With Junior being the taller fighter, he's able to clinch if he wants or power off with shots. Typically the jab, and as he does there, comes in with the knee, comes off with the jab beautifully. And Junior eating a steady diet of punches in bunches from Chrissy Gabriel. But Junior's got to get back to those tactics that made him the more complete fighter in round one. But Chrissy Gabriel just big brothering him here, Dean. Big body shot by Chrissy. I think Junior wins there. He came down, pulled his guard really low, which is what Chrissy wants. He wants the, his opponent, Junior, to go down low so he can come over the top with a heavy shot. That's what he needs to work. He needs to work the body, which he's doing brilliantly, but he needs to come over the top and headhunt a little bit. And 20 seconds to go. Gabriel sprinting towards the finish line to the roar of the crowd here, Dean. And I'm not sure if Junior's gas has got his mouth wide open or whether it's been those punches that have taken it out of him. I think the, the body work has certainly been a factor either way, whether it made him lose his cardio and breathing ability or just caused that much damage. Chrissy is definitely working the body. Junior is breathing slightly heavy, but he's, uh, he's aware, still aware of himself there. Rincroft is really good. He came out and missed a shot there. Man, wow. what a fight. What a performance from Chrissy Gabriel, Dean. Was it enough? I think Junior did more in Rincroft. He did more in jabs. He landed more jabs. Chrissy did some really good body shots, but I don't think he just did enough to edge out the win here, Chris. I'm going to disagree with you on this one. I think Gabriel stole round three and probably took round two after being really set back by Junior in round one. Let's, think, let's take things over to Tom Vince, our MC and Master of Ceremonies here at Contenders EA. The judges giving us their final tallies. Who knows what's going to happen?